Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, with me, Ged Dave. So I just took a picture of Linda there. And let's see... what Anton thinks. Yeah, I know, I photographed it. Ask her out, man. Go get him, champ. Uh, I think we can just allow time to pass forward for a moment here. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come here at night. I just assumed I would come here at night. That is quite the assumption, though. Well, okay, let's check the cafe first. Yep. Yeah, they did not go on a date yet. See if we can find Crazy Anton again. I, I presume the same conversation is just gonna happen. Hey, Smiley. Well, that's nice. Hey, buddy. Maybe he'll come tomorrow. I am still going to check the bar just in case. man. Pickings on Windfall Island aren't so good that you can afford to wait. Oh! She's not at her spot. Could this mean? Well, how about it? Don't you ever give me a thank goodness. <laughs> Good job, Anton. Oh, 
I'm happy for you too. That's very nice. Now I believe everything else depends on us completing the quest I've talked about forever. So we're going to need the King of Red Loins. And just for fun, let's try swimming to it from here. Is he gonna gag? No! Just in time. Okay, step one. We're gonna be using the Ballad of Gales a lot. So, a while ago, Zunari gave us, uh, like a flower? And if we give it to a merchant, we form a contract with them. So somewhere hither, something profitable this way comes. Maybe. have a flower. I already took it. Oh. Okay. Got this. Sure, this better flower. All right, Merchant's Oath formed. We have one more thing to do. There we go. So what we're doing is basically just trying to rapidly go through the cycle. There's two items we can get. One is a heart piece. And the other is a bonus, kind of like the magic cape. Or maybe the cane of Somalia in A Link to the Past. But I will say no more for now. Uh, we need to go due north to Mother and Child Isles. Where the other merchant is. Unfortunately, we can't warp there, because we would end up inside the islands, and that's not where we want to be. I wonder if we can see them yet. There it is!
so this process has 13 steps by my mathematics if you count getting the town flower already. So we're about to go on to step four. So it's clipping along pretty well. Having a double trade to start off was pretty nice. Okay, and then the other guy, this is merchant two out of three. The other one you'll recall was at Balm Island. Keep it! Do I have to talk to him first, I guess? Okay. <laughs> this guy says different things. I kind of wish I hadn't blasted through the first part. It's kind of funny. That's an exotic flower. Sure. See, I don't see how these go to Windfall Island. They should go to the merchant at Great Fish Island, but whatever. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Appears we already got that. Got 11 shoes, there's 23 in the game and we only need 15. This could get interesting. Just have to double check, okay, Bomb Island is one north of Forest Haven. As I feared. We're gonna have to do a little bit of travel. The farthest sailing we have to do is actually only two squares, and that's the trek we did from Great Fish to Mother and Child Isles. And you can even see Bomb Island right there. Like it's coming out of a little chair there. Okay, let's hear what this guy's motivation is. Here you go. Why, that's a pinwheel. A highly craft or a high quality crafted good. Yes, we know how that works. Okay. 
be going back to Mother and Child Isles. Looks like this might be a little bit faster, so I'm going to go for it. Hoping to have it perfectly lined up already. Hard to tell, but I'm fairly happy with the line I've got. Place your bets, everybody. And this is going to be one of the last times we, uh, spend, you know, a real amount of time at sea. Might do a little bit of running around to try getting chews, but uh, that's about it. Hello, sir. This guy appears to charge the most. You don't even need a thousand rupees for the full process, though. Well, that didn't work out. I was hoping he'd jump right into it. Bow out of the gales, because it's faster than sailing there. No. Okay. Kind of tempting to pick that up. Did I just forget where he was? Looks like it. Okay, we have a double trade with him again. Sure. Looks pretty nice. For those of you unfamiliar with the Merchant's Oath, here you are. Trade it to him again. Wait, what? All right, if that's how you want to play it. How about now? Not really. <laughs> I like how they're all trying to scam you. It's like selling something on Craigslist or Kijiji. Okay. Yep. 
We're making the trek back to Mother and Child Isles. Eh. There we go. And I think we've got a pretty good line here. Except some funniness in the geometry of the sail. So, by my count, we're on step 9 of 13. Making pretty good progress. And through this, I think we are going to get all of the uh, heart pieces as well. One is the end result of the trading side quest. We're basically coming up with a way for Zanari to stock every single item. I think. Let the water take me. There we go. Could I interest you in this creepy statue? Yep. Sounds good. We have another, another double trade coming up. Yeah, you guessed it. Great fish eye. how the one merchant is being completely left out. The Bomb Island guy has, like, only the one trade. There we go. Trade it to him again. Sure. Postman must love those. All right, everybody. Final two steps right here. So we go back one last time. Steering a little bit. That should probably do it. And this is our final trade with uh, the merchant at Mother and Child Isles. He's going to give us the Shop Guru stra statue. We'll go back to Greyfish, deal it to the guy we were just talking to, and then profit.
And for the record, multiple uh, merchants do offer different prices for different goods. So if you're really pinching the pennies, you could save 10 or 5 rupees here or there. But it probably takes less time to just pick up the rupees. I know someone who would be. The final item. Okay. To Greyfish Isle. But uh, first things first. Because he won't trade that many times in one day. So this will get us the 43rd heart piece. The final one is there's that guy in Windfall Island and we talked to him like 50 videos ago. Uh, he's sitting on the bench and I think he remarks that he wants the city filled with flowers. We will do that with those uh, town flowers that Zanari started us off with. Thanks Beetle. Didn't like that I was stepping on his turf. Because Beetle is most definitely that shallow. Okay. The moment you've been waiting for. for this. <laughs> Exciting times. So now if we bow out of Gales, if we bog our way to Windfall Island, we should find out that Zanari's got everything all stocked well and good. But uh, we'll figure that all out next time on Let's Play The Legends of Zelda The Wind Waker with me, good Dave.